Hey there friends, I'm Joe, for those of you that don't know, and today I wanted to go over what it went into building my custom patio table to match my custom deck. Let's go! I make living hard look too easy. Wood that I got was more of a cheaper garden bed cedar. A little bit more work involved, we had to plane it. Build them and cut them up. The frame was made out of leftover railings that I had. The posts, uh, I wasn't able to find a uh, cedar post without special ordering it and those are no cheap date. So I ended up just getting redwood posts that were available. Let's talk about legs. One trick that I like to do is measure a table that I enjoy the height of at home. That'll give me a good height to cut my leg at, or my post. So, now that we have the planning and milling done, let's head back home and uh, cut and assemble. frame was made out of leftover railings that I had. The frame we stained. Okay, so now we cut the top to length because I can't cut three of these at the same time with my saw. I'm squaring it up on the sides here so they're both the same and then I made this flush. This cut, I'm just gonna cut the end off so it's square and then we'll flip over and cut to length. The top one's already cut, so we'll come and bring this right to the edge of that one.
sand it, give it a little bit of smoothness. But I mean, the wood's just beautiful. Uh, put a nice stained finish on it. Built the frame 45 to the ends just to kind of give it a more finished look. So I put a brace down the middle. to keep it smooth on top. I didn't want any screws coming through, so I attached everything from the frame with uh, three and a half inch screws, so they would catch the frame and go into the, the top. Oh, it's beautiful. It's perfect. It's perfect. Hey, <laughs> Careful, please. You like the table? You're being dangerous. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>